looking glass on the wall. Who in this hall is the fairest of all? Sound familiar? Good morning. สวัสดีตอนเช้า Ohio g o s a i m a s ้าวช่างมาแกนดังอุมาเ Representing the funny but a little naughty, some skinny, some chubby, yet with beauty, bubbly and undoubtedly lovely class from grade two to class six. My name is Supisara, eight years old. Today we will be role playing a story entitled "The Light of Snow White." So sit back, relax, and enjoy. For our class is ready for a pleasant toil. Once upon a time, there was a queen. I wish I had a shell as white as snow, that as red as blood, and black as ebony. Soon after, the queen gave birth to such a child, and then she died. The daughter she left behind was called the Snow White. A year passed, and the king took another wife who was beautiful but proud and arrogant. I will have no one else better than my beauty. Looking glass, looking glass on the wall. Who in this land is the fairest of all? Thou, O queen, art the fairest of all. But let us know why grow more and more beautiful each day. When she turned seven, she was more beautiful than the new queen. Looking glass, looking glass on the wall. Who in this land is the fairest of all? Snow White. The queen was angry to hear this, and she called the huntsman. Take the child away and kill her. Bring back her lungs and liver as a token. Snow White, come with us. Let's go. The huntsmen attacked to kill little Snow White, but they killed a wild boar instead. They took its lung and liver back to the queen as proof the child was dead, and the queen ate them. Yum! Little Snow White ran and ran until she found a little cottage. Inside, a table was set for seven. She ate and drank only a tiny bit from its plate and mug. Seven little beds were run up against the wall, and she fell asleep in the seventh. The owner of the cottage, Red Dwarfs, who dug for her, and they came home to the cottage soon. After, who has been sitting on my chair? Who has been eating off my plate? Who has been eating my bread? Who has eaten some of my vegetable? Who has been using my fork? Who has been using my knife? Who has been drinking from my mug? Then the first one noticed that his bed was used. Who has been lying on my bed? And mine, and mine too, and mine, and mine too, and mine. And wait a minute, there's someone in mine. They went and got their seven little candles and crowded around the bed. Heavens, oh heavens! What a lovely shine! Why are you here in our house? She introduced herself and told them her story. You can care for this house if you cook, clean, wash, sew, and knit. You will want for nothing. Yes, thank you. That sounds like an excellent idea. Because she would be alone in the house all day. They warned her. But the queen will soon know that you are here. Don't let anyone into this house when we are away. Some weeks later, the queen went back to her looking glass. Looking glass, looking glass on the wall. Who in this land is the fairest of all? Oh, queen, thou art the fairest of all. I see, but over the hills where the seven dwarfs dwell, Snow White is alive and well, and none is so fair as she. 
Ah, so those princes betrayed me. Well, I shall paint my face and dress like an old woman. With the help of witchcraft, I shall make a poisonous drum that should kill her. So she disguised herself to look like an old woman, and she went over the seven mountains to where the seven dwarfs live, and knocked on their door. Pretty things I sell, very pretty, very cheap. Go away! I'm not supposed to let anyone in. Well, just look then. Oh my, that's very nice. You may come in. Oh, let me come here for you to look more beautiful. As soon as the comb was placed in her hair, little Snow White fell down senseless. Ha! At last you're done for, you little beauty. Fortunately, the dwarfs arrive home early and remove the poison's comb. Little Snow White told them what happened. That was the wicked queen. Don't let anyone, I repeat, anyone into this house while we are away. Back at the palace, the queen went back to her looking glass once more. Looking glass, looking glass on the wall, who in this land is the fairest of all? Snow White! Snow White shall die, no matter what it takes, even if it costs my life! This time, she make a poisonous apple, disguise herself as a farmer's wife, and knock on the door. Go away! I'm not to let anyone in. The seven dwarfs have forbidden it. That's all the same to me, because pretty soon I'm gonna be rid of my pretty apples. Here, I'll give you one to try. I shouldn't take anything. Do you think it might be poisoned? Here, I'll have the white part, and you can have the sweet red cheeks. The queen's pack had no poison. So little Snow White took a bite of her piece and fell down dead. Ha 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 ha! White as snow, red as blood, black as ebony. The seven drops will not await you. The dwarfs came home that evening and found little Snow White no longer breathing. Well, we can bury her in the Draco ground. We shall put her in a coven made of glass and write her name upon it in writers so that everyone will know she was the king's daughter. They carry this coffin up to the top of the mountain and one of the dwarfs always stay with it to guard her. A long, long time passed and she looked as thought she were asleep. One day, a prince from another kingdom came to the mountain and saw the coffin with Snow White. Please let me have this coffin as a gift. I cannot live without seeing Snow White. I promise I will honor and treasure her. The dwarfs took pity on the prince and lent him half the coffin. Okay, you can have her! As the coffin was open, the poisonous piece of apple popped out of her throat and out of her mouth. Where am I? You are here with me. I love you more than anything. Please come to my father's palace and be my wife. Okay, but promise me that you will take care of me and love me forever. Yes, I will, my lady. After a week, the prince and Snow White got married and they lived happily ever after. Searching for an answer